Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna make a digital tie-dye heart design in Photoshop. So guys, I'm gonna teach you how to make this pattern that's on my shirt. So you can see here, it's a heart. So this is actually a part of my digital tie-dye Photoshop brush set, volume four. I'll link it below this video and you can check out. So let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, guys, welcome back. So how do you create a digital tie-dye heart design in Photoshop? I can tell you how, or you can also check out my pre-made templates if you don't want to do it on your own and you're looking for something quick, already pre-made. You can check it out. I'll link it below this video. It's my Retro Vibes tie-dye. So the shirt that I'm actually wearing right now, it's actually this design right here. This is a seamless repeating pattern that I've created. So you can see all the different uses for these patterns, but you want to do it yourself you can also check out my digital tie-dye Photoshop brushes volume 4 I'll link this product below this video as well but with this brush set it comes with pre-made shape you can literally take this shape and stamp it into your document in Photoshop so that's what we're gonna do here today we're actually gonna use digital tie-dye Photoshop brushes volume 4 and I took a quick peek on Google and did a quick Google search on tie dye heart. Looking at all of these images is just like kind of making my eyes bleed a little bit. Oh, it just hurts. Like some of these colors are so bright and so mismatched. So what I actually did instead was I went and did another Google search for pink color schemes. And so I found a couple of different colors that I like. I'm really digging the softer color palette. I would recommend if you're starting out with tie-dye designs in Photoshop, just to have one or two colors and maybe do a subtle color change, you know, from very light to medium, because what will happen is you'll get a lot of these very mismatched colors. I mean, this is kind of like the colors of the rainbow, but it's just so harsh, you know, it's just so like really hard to look at. So you want something that's a little bit easier on the eyes. I would definitely take a look at different kinds of color harmonies. And if you do just like a quick Google search, you can actually screenshot or save the image to your desktop. All right, so I've opened up the image that I did a quick screenshot of. And I also have a document that I created. This is an Instagram stories size but you can create your document to whatever you want so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to color sample some of these colors we'll take the eyedropper tool which is right here first color that I want to color sample is so let's just choose a pink one and then we'll press X on our keyboard to toggle between foreground and background colors we'll choose the blue one this time and then we can choose our third color later so let's just go ahead and come back to our documents so we want to press V on our keyboard for the move tool and you can see here in my brushes palette that that I've already imported my brushes let's look for the brushes that we want to use so I want to use this one tie-dye heart the small tie-dye ring and also the large tie-dye ring as well and the first color that I wanna use is pink. So let's go ahead and create a layer. I like to stamp the brushes into separate layers. So in case you mess up or you wanna move things around, it will be in its own separate layer. So let's go ahead and press B on our keyboard. And so we have selected the tie-dye large ring. So let's toggle between the blue one and so you can see that this brush is actually outside of the actual canvas, but that's okay. We can go ahead and click on our keyboard and then you'll see that it's so light. I actually didn't want it that light. And so what I'm gonna do is Command Z and then we'll go to Flow, put it at 100. And then now let's stamp it again. 
there we have it. That's kind of how I want this to look. And if you want to just keep moving through and stamping the inside, you can use the left and the right bracket on your keyboard to ca actually increase or decrease the size of the brush. So that's kind of cool. And you can even go a little bit smaller. And for traditional tie dye, I always see a little bit of white space. So you don't want to, for design aesthetics, I would recommend leaving a little bit of white space. So we'll go ahead, put this on a new layer, and I'll show you how to change the colors in just a little bit. And so for this one, I'm not really intending this one to be blue. We can always change that color later. And so now let's create a new layer. We'll choose the tie-dye heart, and this time we'll press X and choose the pink color and let's just go ahead and stamp it and there you have it and so now let's go back to v let's click on layer two this blue one here and let's color sample the lighter purple so just go ahead and eye drop that and then we'll go back to our layer and then we'll double click on layer two and we'll go to color overlay and we'll go ahead and choose that purple that we just eye drop okay that's not so bad you can change these so i'm going to do command t because I realize it's actually there's a lot more space so you can always feel free to adjust this as you go and then the next thing I want to do is I want to use the small tie-dye ring and that'll go kind of in the middle right here and what I can actually do is so I want to use the blue and we'll create a new layer and we'll just click go back to pressing V on your keyboard and click on the heart and then we'll do command T to resize it. Go ahead and resize this down just a little bit so that there's a little bit of a white space. And then this blue one, we can size this down just a little bit. And there you go. There's your digital tie-dye heart design. And also there's a couple of things that you could do here. Um, if you think this blue area right here is a little harsh, we can always turn down the opacity here so you can get a different color variation. So that's kind of cool. And then the pink, if you think that pink is a little too much, you can also, so we can always bump down the opacity if you want the pink to be a little bit lighter, or I actually like it the way it was before. So there you have it. And then if you wanna use this on social media, you could just save this out as a JPEG. I would export. Um, but I would actually, if this is going for web and social media, it's going to have to be a smaller file. And so what I'll do is I'll do a quick export as PNG. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and save this to our desktop. And then we'll just do heart design, Let's just say Instagram. And so when we look for it, on our desktop we should be able to locate it and so if we double click and there you have it so this can be used on social media backgrounds wallpaper for your iPhone or your Android device I will link a digital download of this for free so you guys can download it check it out and if you want to try this on your own I actually also sell these brushes as Procreate. So if you don't have Photoshop and you wanna use this on Procreate, you can actually check this out on uh, my website on Procreate Brushes. And you can find this uh, Procreate brush set down here and it goes directly to my Gumroad shop. So if you're interested, this is where you can find it and you can experiment on your Procreate app. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you like my content, please hit the subscribe button and like this video. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.